zone on the road. Vero Beach makes some noise. All right. You guys got a pretty big game this week. Oscar Smith up in Virginia, but we're going to get to that in a minute. Let's start with this. Dennis, last week these guys beat Vieira 42 to 30. Uh, your thoughts on that game? I actually got a couple of takeaways from that game. The first would be the resolve that Vero Beach showed after being down 21 to seven against a quality program like Vieira, preseason or not, you never want to, you want to look as good as you can at all times. To come back with a 28-0 run over 11 minutes, that's pretty impressive. It really shows what this team might be capable of when all cylinders are firing. But the second thing that really I took away from was the big play by Andre Johnson, the interception return for a touchdown, which was part of that 28-point run. Vero Beach had one interception return for a touchdown all of last season. The more big plays you can make on defense, it just makes that high octane spread offense that much more dangerous. Absolutely. You know, for me, I'm going to stay with the defense. Uh, six takeaways against a very well coached Vieira team was very impressive. Uh, Dave Reese, uh, defensive end, I thought had the best game he's had as a high school player uh, to date, and I've seen him for the last three years. Uh, Andre Johnson played well. Jack Carson, where is Jack? Is he here? How many tackles did you have? 485 tackles he had against Vieira, I think. Well, either that or that's the only name the announcer had, one of those two options. Um, but, uh, and, and uh, John and Brian with two takeaways as well, and Len with two takeaways. So, a lot of good things with that defense as far as taking volley. Coach, I want to get your thoughts. Um, you're, uh, yeah, you want to grab that mic too. What's your uh, biggest takeaway from that game? No, I think, you know, you guys talked about, you know, some of the highlights, but overall as a whole, it, you know, it was an impressive win against a quality opponent. You know, the first time out, out of the box and a kickoff classic, a, a game that, you know, you plan to, to play probably more guys than you typically do in, in the regular season. And I thought we got some guys, some reps, uh, had an opportunity to evaluate some things. And, and uh, you know, going into this first week of the season, the first regular season, uh, we've learned a lot about our team. More than anything, uh, it's just great conditioning to uh, to be able to to preach to our guys, you know, through the off season that conditioning is such a big part of what we do. And and uh, but there's really no substitute for game conditioning and and uh, getting in game uh, the the condition that you need to play in a game. So to have that and and to play as fast as they played and then you know counter that with our tempo, uh, I, I, you know, now that it's all said and done, I don't think uh, we could have asked for for anything better. All right, Austin. Austin Maxwell, by the way, first offensive lineman ever to be on the rec zone on the road in the big chair, so congrats on that. We had to steal reinforcement. Uh, Austin, as a, as a player, what was your biggest takeaway from uh, beating a good year? So as an offensive lineman, we did really good with injuries. We had three injuries, unfortunately, and we were able to do really good in the depth. We played eight offensive linemen, and we played pretty good throughout the whole game with all those guys. So we need to be more physical. We need better communication. but. With all the depth, I think we can work for the next hopefully 15 weeks. Perfect. All right, Austin, here's what we're going to do. You and I are going to play a little word association. All right. It has nothing to do with football. Got it. So I say a word, and you say the first clean word that pops into your clean head. Clean word. Got okay. it. Uh, football. Coach J. The first thing you think about when you think about football is Coach J. Uh, he's always honest. Okay. <laughs> all right. Road trip. Virginia. Kendrick Lamar. Easy. Leadership. Coach Jeff. <laughs> all right. How uh, much is he in your head right now? <laughs> he's he's on us all the time, 24-7, so you have to keep it. All right. Honest. Steak. Oh, man. Outback. Outback. Coach Jankowski. Coach Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Say something else besides a variation of his name. <laughs> Great coach. I'm so glad we got that on video. Uh, and then let's end with this. Robots. Defensive line. All right. So, Oscar Smith, let me ask you this. Uh, you've got a, what, nine-hour drive, something like that? How, how, how far is, is Oscar Smith? Well, we're going nine hours to Raleigh. And that's our, fr our first stop. We're going to spend the night in Raleigh and, and make that our, uh, our overnight stop. And we're going to you know, view it as an away game from there. So, it'll be three hours from there. And uh, you know, after the, we'll travel there Friday morning. And after the game's over, we'll come back and, and uh, stay the night at Raleigh again. That's a long way of saying 12 hours. Yeah. Um, how do you prepare mentally for a 12-hour bus ride? Uh, I think the team needs to stay uh, stay focused the whole time, the whole the whole trip. No joking around, no messing around, especially at the hotel on Thursday night, Friday night. Um, just 
y'all got to keep it together. Especially the defense. The defense on the bus, I know they like to get a little rowdy, so they're going to have to keep it together somehow. So we'll figure it out. Dennis, what do you think? When you found out you guys were going to be taking this trip to Virginia to play Oscar Smith, you know, how much have you been able to see film on it? Or did you all run to the internet, dial a puddle, and try to find highlights? No, coach, coach got film from them. We've been looking at it. They have some really good athletes, and we're going to prepare like any other game. It's nothing special. We're just going to go up there. It's got a little bit longer of a drive. Okay. Coach, how do you prepare for this? I think Austin said it best. I mean, it's a, it's a game on our schedule that, you know, we prepare to uh, – to put our best foot forward each and every game, each and every time out, and, and uh, this is a game no different. We've got you know a little bit of a road trip, but we're going to uh, continue to practice throughout the rest of this week. Uh, have our regular Thursday practice in Raleigh, and it'll be business as usual come Friday. You know, it'll, like I said, it'll be uh, in our mind just a three-hour road trip, uh, like a typical uh, you know away game, and, and we'll be on our away game schedule, and and uh, so that's how we're taking it. We're we're going up there with. Uh, with one goal in mind, and that's to come come home with a victory, and and uh, so we know what it takes to uh, what we've got to do during the week to get that done. All right, coach. Before we ask anything else about football, let's get to know you a little bit better. So I'm gonna have you hold the mic. I'm asking your list of favorites. Okay. Okay. In case anybody wants to buy you a gift card. Favorite restaurant. Favorite restaurant, Caps Pizza. Favorite pregame superstition? Do you have any? Favorite what? Oh, I've got I've I've got a regular routine on pregame. It's too long to to talk about. But yeah, I've I've got I'm I'm a fairly superstitious guy. Um, favorite movie? Bull Durham. Favorite video game of all time? Pac Man. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite team to beat? Gosh. Um, Who's your favorite team to beat? Oscar Smith. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this will be fun. Isn't that fun. what coaches are always saying, that the next game's the most important, the one you want to beat, the one you want to win the most? So if we see them on the schedule for the next, like, 30 years, we'll know why. All right, I got to ask you this one just for fun. Who is your first celebrity crush? First celebrity crush. Bo Derek. It's about 80 guys who are going on Google right now to figure out who Bo Derek is. All right, Dennis, you got any other questions for these guys before we get to our picks? Well, I think the what do you get out of a game against an out of state out of state opponent that maybe you wouldn't get against the team right down the street? Well, I just think that uh, the entire week is, is a new experience. I mean, we we've, we've been preparing for this. And uh, you know, for it to it to be here, uh, you know, we're we're dealing with it as the, as each day happens. You know, obviously, there's always different things that happen during the course of the day, and this week seems a little crazier than ever, just with uh, the regular schedule, whether we had the game or not. You know, we had the eclipse yesterday, and uh, we've got a half day of school tomorrow to worry about, and and uh, just just some different things that come up during during school scheduling, and and uh, so. But our guys have been very. Uh, resilient and they they face adversity pretty well so far early in the season and uh, so I just think that all all that comes with it you know our, our guys will will take it on you know and uh, and do a good job with it I, like I said we're, we're trying to keep it uh, as routine oriented as possible all right Dennis time has come to make your pick well I think you look at Oscar Smith it's one of the most successful programs in Virginia over the last well, since 2004, 13 consecutive 10-win seasons and 161-18 and overall record. Last year, 13-2, and lost in overtime in the 6A state championship game. They have a new coach in Scott Johnson, but he's been an assistant with the program since 2012. So programs like that don't normally drop off. You've got to figure they're going to be tough again. One note, though, that a year ago they opened with Tamatha Catholic, a nationally ranked team from Maryland, and lost 42-7. to So they have lost games. They're not invincible. Zero B2. Right, wait, hold on. I see, I see you're, you're, you're winding up to give your pick. I want to. Can I get a couple drum guys real quick to help us out with something? We've never done this before, but I think we're going to need a couple guys to help us out. Dennis. Dennis's middle. All right. Here's how we're going to do this. Dennis's middle initial is M. It stands for money fix. So, Dennis's pick matters more than mine. Grab a little drum roll. We need to have a drum roll before Dennis's pick. Um, but uh, don't just do a normal drum roll. Make you put a little funk on it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, which 
one is Trevor or Tyler. Tyler, right? Tyler, why don't you go first? Thank you.